Yay. Game time. For mom and dad Stroman, game day starts early. From the hotel overlooking the stadium, they get a sneak peek at where in about 10 hours or so, millions will watch their son pitch. I knew he would be here. You didn't know that? Yes, I did. You knew that? Absolutely. He used to yell at me every time I made him practice. <laughs> Earl's been with Marcus as a manager, a coach, a dad, every step of the way. I'm proud of him, so I have no regrets. I hope he doesn't have any neither, so it's been a fun ride. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Probably going to have like 50,000 people here. Yeah. I wonder sometimes if he actually feels it. You think Marcus feels it? A little bit. Little butterflies here and there. I don't know if he feels it. On Long Island. Look at the headline in the Long Island newspaper Earl shows off at breakfast. Remember that Marcus is only 24 and a playoff rookie. I want to be the one to have the ball in these games. You know, ever since he was a little kid, he likes being the guy, the go-to guy. You know, and that's how I brought him up. Game day, how's dad? Dad's a little nervous, not crazy, you know. I believe in my son. I'm gonna love him no matter what, but I'm a little nervous. He's always a little nervous, you know, because you feel like there's a little piece of yourself out there every time he pitches. As much as he'd love to, Earl can't be with Marcus on game day. It's against the rules. The next best thing, go for a walk with his other boy, Jaden, and his old buddies from back home. Are you excited about seeing your brother play? Yeah. You are? I'm nervous. You're not nervous. You nervous? Why are you nervous? Oh, it's overwhelming for you. <laughs> Jaden gets how big this day is for Dad, how it's the end of a journey that started when Marcus was a kid. Marcus's dream was to play pro sports, but everybody told him he was too short. So everyone just wrote him off. You know, nobody really wanted to take the chance on him. So he's heard that his whole life. So he came up with the phrase, height doesn't measure heart. Height and heart don't go together, you know. You can be short and have a lot of heart, and that's what his phrase means, you know. And he lives by that. You know, how tall is he to you? Ten feet. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so that's my son, so he's, you know, I'm proud of him. So I am. He's... He's done a great job. What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? Just, just everything he has to do, you know, between the injuries and the simple fact he went back to school for us. So he's had a lot on his mind and he's done it. So I have no complaints succeed or fail. He's, he's done it. So that's the truth. So we're going this way, right? As game time nears, yeah. Earl gets plenty of proof that Marcus made it. My son's going to do it again, buddy. Thank I, you, baby. I know it. I know it. Go blue! Go blue! Woo! Woo! Don't mind. Oh, I'm awesome. not at all. Go. Thank you, Mr. Strong. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Sir, guys, What's going on, baby? How's everything going? Back in his room, Earl waits to get a glimpse of Marcus warming up. He wants to share the moment. You know, through all this, what do you think, Marcus, your son's taught you? That sometimes I have to learn to change. I think that's important, being a dad. What did you have to change? I was kind of hard on them in the beginning. You know, but once they make it, you know, sometimes you say, okay, you got to ease up. He's there now. You know, he's on his own. Doesn't need my guidance as much, you know, so he's grown up. And finally, the moment Earl's been waiting for all day. Here he goes right here. Nice. One almost wants to say he made it, you know. But just the fact that he's up now is exciting. What would you say to him right now? I love you much. Go have a game. See you when it's over. Call him Boo. I would say Boo, have a game. In every parent's life, there's a moment when there's nothing more you can do but watch. And maybe that's the best but hardest thing of all. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.